are making progress as they tighten their lines around the flood fire in Pinal County. 4,400 acres have burned, but firefighters now have lines around nearly two thirds of the fire. 13 News reporter Catherine Patterson joins us live near Oracle Junction, where the smoke is still floating in the sky. And Catherine, you've been following this fire since yesterday. What does it look like today? Yeah, Brooke, like you said, there's still a little bit of smoke, but taking a look at it now, it is very minimal compared to what we saw yesterday and even earlier today. So residents are coming back to their homes. They're getting back, but they're still on standby just in case something happens. 4,400 acres. That's how much is burned since Wednesday night with now 30% containment. Firefighters and power companies alike are beginning to work on damage control. We had an outage that occurred when I think some a microburst or some lightning and high winds went through Wednesday afternoon. It did knock, off, knock, knock out several of our poles. Crews have been working on suppression efforts to make sure that the fire doesn't kick back up with strong winds. Officials say the fire was likely caused by downed power lines. There were some indications of um, fire around the poles that went down, but at this point, um, we're uncertain as to the cause. Uh, we've, we've been focused on getting the line rebuilt. We've been cooperating with the fire crews. Residents say this isn't a new concern in the area. One good gust of wind and then poof, four or five power poles are down. Resident Melody Giordano drives to work every day, passing by wooden poles that she says are just waiting to fall. You're watching the power poles like the ones out here that broke last fire. Watching the power poles sway like a blade of grass. That's that's not safe. But as time goes on, Trico Electric, like TEP, is working to change to steel poles to survive these strong Arizona winds. We've got thousands of old wood poles still on our system. But uh, yeah, we are making the transition and we're incorporating that into our design standards going forward. So we actually got a late breaking update. Fire crews have now gotten 60% containment around the fire. We will, of course, continue to keep you updated with the latest both on air and online at KOLD.com. Reporting live near Oracle Junction, Katherine Patterson, 13 News.